o h i p u r u r a the city in the New Zealand region Wellington located to the north from the city of Wellington, is on the bank of the Bay p u r u r a Also includes Mana Island and Kapiti. According to a population census of 2006, the population of Porirua was 48546 people. According to the archaeological excavations which are carried out in the neighborhood of the city of Porirua, this area was populated approximately in the middle of the 15th century. Hunting, collecting, and fishery was major activity of locals. Subsequently, representatives Maori Tui will owe a guy container, a n g body ranks, and a n g body ira, and in the 1820th years, as a result of pressure from outside, Tui will owe representatives of the tribe of a n g body to located in the region. In the middle of the 1830th years, in the neighborhood of Porirua, there were first Europeans. Including Joseph Toms, who in the territory of Permat, the modern suburb Porirua, created the station of whalers and also organized a ferry. In the 1840th years, near the city, armed conflicts between Aboriginals of New Zealand, Maori, and European colonists were conducted. So, the Maori fortification constructions of a pause, and in 1846, the British strengthenings and forts were constructed here. Nevertheless, Maori were helpless in the face of the European firearms and military experience, and with taking of the leader t i r o p a r a k and t i r a n j a k i a t s retreat vicinities, Porirua became safe for the European settlers who by 1848 improved transport connection with Wellington, having broadened the local road earlier used Maori. In 1885, Porirua was connected to Wellington the railroad. In 1887, in the settlement, the local lunatic asylum in which over 2,000 people worked was open. It had a great influence on further development of Porirua, and by the beginning of the 20th century, in him there were already three churches, hotel, the railway station, and shop. With the construction in 1936 of the bridge through the Bay Paramata, the population of Porirua sharply went up. In the years of World War II, in the neighborhood of the settlement were constructed armed the camp, which were used by the American military infantry. After the end of war, the population of Porirua continued to grow. Through the solution of housing problems of local population, the government of the country during the period from 1953 to 1955 built over 500 houses, which became subsequently one of architectural heritages of New Zealand. Construction material was specially ordered in Austria, and already in New Zealand, these houses needed to be collected as the designer. During the 60s, commercial development of the city continued, nevertheless, in it there was no industry. For involvement of the national and international companies, favorable investment conditions were specially created, and in 1965, in Porirua, the plant of the General Electric Company was opened. Subsequently, the enterprises in the territory of the city opened such companies Kodak, c h u b and others. Besides, the Todd Corporation Company adjusted assembly of cars. In 1962, after simplification of the county of Makara, it was founded by Borough of Porirua, and in 1965, the City Council of Porirua is formed. According to a population census of 2006, 48546 inhabitants lived in the city that on 1179 people are two. 5% or more than it was registered during the census of 2001. Indicators on sexual categories in the city were the following. 
to 3634 men and 24912 women. Indicators on age categories. 26.2% of inhabitants up to 15 years, 7.9% of inhabitants are more senior than 65 years. Middle age was 32.6 years. Average age of representatives of the people of Maori was 21.2 years. Among them the share of inhabitants is younger than 15 years made 35. 4%, 65 years minus 3.1% or more senior. The racial structure of the population was 56.8% of Europeans, 20.9% of Maori, the others representatives of the people of Oceania and Asians. The share of Latin Americans and Africans was insignificant. The share of the inhabitants who were born abroad made 23.1%. From foreigners, natives of Samoa and Great Britain prevailed. English was the main language of communication in the city. Other widespread languages, Samoan, owned 11% of the population. And Maori, 23.3% of representatives of the indigenous New Zealand people of Maori owned and 4.1% of all population of the city here. Share of families in which there were children made 46.3% of inhabitants. A share of childless families minus 29.1%. A share of incomplete families with at least one child minus 24.6%. Households made 74. 1% of all households of Porirua of one family. The average size of a household minus 3.1 persons. 61.2% of farms had internet access, 90.8% the home phone number, 77.6% the mobile phone. Average income is one person more senior than 15 years, ends dollar 26300. The share of inhabitants is more senior than 15 years, which average income of ends dollar 20000 below was 40.4%, and for inhabitants whose income is higher than ends dollar 50000, 20.5%. Unemployment rate in Porura in 2006 reached 6.9%. Culture and economy. In Pereira, one of the centers, largest in the region for holding sporting, official, commercial events, Tiroparex Arena is located. And then there are a large water center and the fitness center. From other cultural and leisure centers, the Museum of Art and Cultures Patica, which is one of the main exhibition centers in the country devoted to the modern art of Maori, residents of Oceania, New Zealand is allocated. In Porirua there is a headquarters of the largest local producer of chocolate, J. H. Whitaker and Sons. Sites. In the suburb of Porirua, there is a radio mast of TTB which is the second highest construction of New Zealand. Also far. Write comments. Read comments. Interesting people will tell interesting stories. All of good mood and good luck.